Years of hard work and determination concluded in a milestone moment for nearly 1,000 Brock graduates who received their university degree last week. Here to share the history, the memories, and touching personal stories is one of those recent graduates, Sierra Witte, along with Director of Enrollment Supports, Sandy Howe. Thank you so much for joining us in studio today, ladies. We're going to get right into this. So, uh, Sandy, why don't you just tell us about the major milestone that is the convocation this year, 116th convocation. Absolutely. Convocation at Brock University is really getting big with 4,500 graduates approximately wow. a year and just about 1,000 this past Friday, uh, which was a beautiful sunny day and lots of great memories included in that group. And what made it extra special because this is such a huge year? It is. It's Brock's 60th anniversary, which just kicked off in the last few weeks. So this is our first of two convocation ceremonies as part of the 60th anniversary. And uh, there's always really incredible student stories that emerge every single time. But I'll leave the specialness, uh, part of the specialness of Friday to Sierra in a moment. Okay, so why don't we, before we get into that, I mean, you oversee the planning of yeah. convocation. Yes, with That's, a team. With okay, a team. with a team, but yep. either way, yep. I am quite certain that there is a whole lot that goes into that. What is the process like of getting convocation ready for Brock University? Ooh, this event is about a thousand graduates. It's more than 300 faculty, staff, volunteers from across the campus, and it's businesses and vendors from the community that join us to add their expertise. And so it starts months in advance. Um, it really gets polished, I would say, within two weeks uh, leading up to the event. And then, of course, the big day is kind of like a stage play. No one in the audience knows what's supposed to happen, so that allows us a little bit of flexibility for things to uh, take their twists and turns. And we just try and, and truly um, do our very best to create a great day for the graduates. And you're also a Brock grad, so yes. is it a little bit kind of special for you? It was really amazing. Uh, I graduated about a year ago. Uh, last fall and to be an employee who really believes in the student experience and then to be a student and now a graduate um, I hold that in a really special place. I really wanted a Brock degree. That's amazing and we have someone sitting right here who also has a Brock degree. <laughs> uh, Sierra, congratulations on your graduation. So what Thank program you. did you graduate from? I graduated from the Recreation and Leisure Studies program uh, with a major in Therapeutic Recreation. So tell me, what was that experience like when you were walking across the stage? It was amazing. It was incredible. I've been waiting a long time to uh, kind of celebrate this and uh, put a finalize it with the actual degree and everything. Um, yeah, it's been it was a, it was an awesome day and, and lots of support that day. So. Well, and, and speaking of an awesome day, you kind of had a pretty amazing surprise and I we've did. got some video to show. So walk us through what was the surprise and who came to see you? <laughs> okay, so um, as I was exiting after I uh, walked across the stage with all my classmates and fellow graduates, we went outside of the gym kind of doors mm -hmm. um, and I had a crowd of residents from the place I did my internship where I'm now working, Elgin Falls Retirement, um, a whole bunch of residents were there with a banner and clapping and cheering and um, just there to celebrate me and my accomplishment and my graduation. It was so, so sweet, so special. Um, it was the best day ever. I couldn't believe that they did that. And you, and you had been working there for how long prior to your retirement there? Um, I mean, not retirement from your graduation, but at the <laughs> retirement home. Excuse yeah. me, I'll spit that one out right. I, uh, so I started uh, there around the end of April um, as a student, as an internship student. I had to do my 600 hours as part of my four-year program at Brock. And about a week into my internship, they um, decided to hire me on full time. Wow! I waited till they waited till the end of you know I still did my 600 hours, but they mm -hmm. decided you know when you're done, we we definitely want you working here. And it was just a nice um, kind of testament to uh, the relationships and bonds that I had built quite quickly with the staff and the residents as well. So it was very um, very special, very reassuring. Um, yeah. So. And you're st and you're working there now. And I'm working there now. Yeah, and I'm loving it. And that's that's how they. So I've been working there officially since uh, the beginning of August. Mm -hmm. So yeah, technically as an employee, 
um, my residents came to surprise me at my convocation and it was just this most special day. And how does it feel to come out of a Brock program, graduate, and land a job so soon? Uh, pretty incredible, pretty incredible. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. I thought um, I might have to look around a little bit, do some more um, in interviews and, and resumes and things like that, um, which I was fully prepared to do. They did prepare me for that at school, so I was, you know, ready for that. Uh, but yeah, the fact that I just, everything clicked right away instantly. Um, it was very clear that that was where I was meant to be. And yeah, love it every day. And, and what role would you say that Brock played in getting you prepared and getting you ready for a job like this? Huge, huge. Um, my supervisors, my professors, um, our internship executive people mm -hmm. who take care of all that stuff, um, really make sure that not only that we do the steps to prepare, but that we understand and um, really take it seriously and act professional and learn what that is and think deep about things that we um, kind of know about ourselves, even just self-awareness going into it so that we can find our own path, um, what's right for us, each individual students. Um, so they really take the time to, and the care to really prepare you, not just for the world, but for your own path, which, yeah, definitely worked for me, so. <laughs> Clearly, and, yeah. and how important was it for you to be able to stay in the Niagara region? It was quite important. I, um, obviously my family's here, and I've done a, a little bit of work in the past as a personal support worker um, in the region as well, so. Yeah, just kind of getting to know, I know a lot of people, um, some seniors, some, you know, my own age, but mm -hmm. it was really important to stick around for all the people that I know who, you know, maybe one day would need, you know, help or just advice or just, you know, friendship and things like that, that it's nice to stick around for them. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. And Sandy, I want to just bring it back to you because there might be some people watching and, and considering going to Brock University, their children are, maybe they want to go back to school. <laughs> What is it about Brock that makes it so special? I think what you said truly is the line of the day, right? You can go and, and you can have help from start to finish on your path. And I think people might not know what that is, but Brock provides an incredible student experience where they support you with this wraparound holistic support from start to finish. And they really help you figure out what your path is. You might not know at the beginning, right? You might have a particular curiosity and we just want you to come and to truly break through those barriers and figure out the path that's meant for you and how to have success on it. And would the best way to, to get some more information be to go to the Brock website? Absolutely. And we've got an incredible team uh, in recruitment and admissions, future student at brocku.ca is where anyone can drop an inquiry. And we just really appreciate people who just reach out with questions. They might not have a fully baked plan and that's okay. Just bring us your question and we'll help guide you from there. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, ladies, and congratulations thank on <laughs> everything that has come from going to Brock University and to 60 years. Thank you. Thank of, you so much. Of celebrating Brock. Yes, we hope everyone from the community <laughs> comes out to celebrate 60.